Hi guys, um, gonna get a brew on today. Kind of my birthday brew, birthday tomorrow. But I've got no time to ball in tomorrow, get on the mash on. Um, yeah, so today what we're gonna do is uh, like a recreation of uh, Three Floyd's Zombie Dust. Now I've done this once before last year and it was fantastic. Obviously, you know, it's packed full of citra, but I'm swapping the hop out today, exactly the same moulds for what I did last year, and I've got like a half a kilo here of Victoria's Secret. And also, I'm not putting 500 grand in, that'd be dangerous, um, but it will have the full 100 grams in, and I might, maybe 150, I'm not sure yet, considering how much I'm putting in a dry hop next week or so. Um, if you haven't tried Victoria's Secret, do so. It's an amazing hop. Probably one of my favourite hops now. Or something there with Simcoe for me. So, um, we'll just do the single hop in this zombie dust. As it is anyway with the Citra. Um, so, I'll just... Everything's about ready to get mashed in now. So I'll just cut back and show you the malt. Right, we're back. So... What we've got then, I'm actually going for Marisotta. So I know, I think the recipe calls for the pills and the two row stuff. Um, I've got a hell of a lot of Marisotta in and I think that'll work fine. I'm sure I put Marisotta in last time anyway. Um, yeah, so four and a half kilo of Marisotta. 500 grams of Munich, 250 caramel, um, 250 dextrin carapels, um, and then 250 other melodonium. So, what's that all in all? Around about five and all, five seven, five seven fifty something like that. Um, we'll get it all mashed in now. Sparge water's heating up, and we'll come back when we stirring it round. So there we are. We're all mashed in. I'm actually going to chuck some foil on that now. Some perforate some holes in that and. Yeah, you know, keep the heat in and then we'll get the pump recirculated in a bit. I think I'm going for a 90 minute mash today. Extract as much as possible. Right, so we've got that pumping around now, guys. Well, going in there nice and steady, as you can see. I think. I'm gonna sample a beer. Um, we'll find one in shed. Bit of a beer mail. I think Brew Boy. I think it's Brew Boy Calvary. His turn. See you in a minute. Yeah, right. The pump's gonna have about another 15 minutes left now, so quickly drop a beer review in. Um, say you're doing two videos, I guess. <coughs> right, yeah. So, as I was saying earlier, this one's gonna be off Brew Boy Calvary. Uh, such a nice chap is Matt. Most of you know him now. Um, I'm going to, I think started start of the year on YouTube, something right about that. And I'm going to have his Sussex Ale, uh, part of his Black Cap series. I don't think he's done a, an, a yeah, I know he hadn't done a brew video on this, because this was obviously, brew date was 24th of December last year, and they bottled up on New Year's Eve a week later, and it's come out at 4%. Um, Quick run for it, grain bill, 4.6 kilograms of Maris Otter, 438 grams of crystal, and a nice little bit of chocolate, 69 grams there. The look, you know, nice steady grain bill going off there. Nice and simple, and the sapphire of SO4 yeast. Uh, it was hops, was uh, WGV, that's a white bread, golden variety, isn't it, yeah. So 30 grams of them at 70 minutes, and Challenger, um, 28 grams. I think it would be, at, I'm not sure if that's 70 minutes or a flame out, I'm getting a bit confused here. But at, at flame out, it's put 21 grams of East Kent Golden in. So, St George's Day just gone. Let's have a lovely English ale. Right, here we go. Cheers, Matt. Kind of smoke there and a great little hiss. Already it's got that lovely bitter smell to it. 
like um colour on that. Married that a bit too fast for that one, pal. Got a lovely toffee colour coming off there. Look lovely and clear as they're pouring it. Try to be Eve and put no sediment in. Looking great like that. A little bit in there. Yeah, some sediment at the bottom of the bottle there. Looks like it's been disturbed a little bit, but that's probably just come up from me flipping the lid. The top cap. <laughs> Got a lovely sweet aroma that has. It smells a lot like a hobgoblin, and I absolutely love hobgoblin. As most of you know, I've just done a clone of that not long back. I'm gonna go in anyway. Cheers, Matt. Uh, first one for me, um, Paul Matthews, you know, part of the drinks he sent me. That's outstanding. It really is, buddy. Um, there's a bit of spiciness there. The bitterness is perfect. You, you know, it's very well balanced, extremely well balanced. It's a lot like, um, you know, like Abbott's or a speckled M. It's a lot like that. I used to drink them a lot when I, you know, before I started making my own. I didn't really drink drink them anymore, really. But it's a lot like that, definitely. Like more than speckled M. You've got that bit of toffee um, kick coming through. And it's followed up by the bitterness. Very nice, that pal. Extremely nice. First beer for me today. I was, went out yesterday for St George's Day. Got absolutely smashed. Uh, so a bit, bit delicate. So get a brew on. Have a beer. Beer of the dog. Oh, four percent. Great black cat. It's called this one. Um, colour wise, you like a mahogany chestnut tea. That works. That's a very nice spell. Mm. I'm so going to enjoy. Well, I'm going to look forward to your black IPA and the supercharger. I really am. Thank you so much for sending me that, buddy. Um, Hope you've done your good review. I saw a couple of reviews on this already from I want to brew Chris and Steve the Heathen Brewer. They seem to both like it as well. Like I say, St. George's Day just gone, so English Ale, Sussex Ale. Superb, pal. Ooh. Right. I'll give that another 10 minutes now, and then I'll start my sparge. Um, let it drain and so I'm sparge into my HLT over there, do the dunk sparge as I've been doing. Seems to seems to be working at the moment, doing it that way, getting some great efficiency from it as well. And then we'll bang in the big secret. I put the one in the freezer, the half kilo, I'm not gonna need all that. We've got a couple of these. Um Malt Miller selling these off guys, because I think it's two five and fourteen harvest. And um, but best before obviously 2019. And it was packed on the 3rd of March this year, all nitrogen flushed. 100 grams, £2.50. Still, isn't it? So, all being well, that's going to work fine in this Omnibus clone. Um, I was going to say, yeah, do look big secret up if you've not used it before, because it's just amazing. 15.7% year alpha rating on that. I 
see you in a minute. Just drain in now, guys, and I'll swap it in there. Yep, so as you all know by now, this is my dump sparge in. We've got around about 15 litres in there, that had four gallon in. Um, I'll dump sparge it with 15 litres, give it about 15 minutes, something like that, and then we'll transfer into there and get the boil on. So there we are now guys, that's draining, it's done its job um, and I'll transfer that into there in a minute and we should roughly have about six and a half, about seven gallons and I've got that on already to bring it to the boil a bit faster and then we'll add some hops, cheers. Yep, so there you go guys, I've, obviously with a big secret I've gone for 10 out of 60, um, 10 out of 15 and I'll put approach lock in as well. Or worth lock, whatever you call them. Um, 10 at 5 and then 20 at flame out. So we've got 50 grams going in the boil and I'll dry hop uh, with 50 grams in about 5 days or 100 grams. I'm not sure yet. Hot break now, look. Crack it off. Smooth brew day. Oh, yeah. That is a Simcoe smack I did. Very nice. First hop edition gone in. So that's it guys now. Induction hob been switched off. Now 20 grams of flame out. Uh, we'll leave that steep for about half an hour, and then we'll transfer it into my cube. Well, that's it. Brew day, all done. Nice and steady. Cheers. Right, guys, that's it. Brew day is all done, all wrapped up. Uh, nice and smooth. No went wrong. Um, all in the cube now. I'll transfer it tomorrow morning and pitch the yeast, and the yeast is uh, USO5. So just the one pack, that's all I've got. Uh, we should be all right. Start on grab it to the bit high. 1068. Tasting good. Um, like I say with the Marisol, it's gonna be a, a big multi hop bomb basically. Um, and what you saw me drinking earlier was this. The Simcoe smack I did. Um, this one come out six point three percent. I did about a ten gallon bite, so no too much. Gonna yeah, love the drop of that. Lovely colour. Simcoe just all in your face, isn't it? I think it was just Golden Promise. Um, a bit of caramel. And it'll Magnum, Bittering. Shitload of Simcoe throughout the boil. And then it was dry hot with Citra and Equinox. That was it. That turned out alright. Um, Got a few of these I'm going to put out in beer mail um, to my 200 subs winners and some some other chaps as well. But I might even wait them like another week now. I'm not sure because of a zombie dust clone I've done today. I think that'd be a nice treat to go into some beer mail. So if if you guys are alright with that, I'm all good with that. But I'll let you know anyway. So that's it, guys. We're all wrapped up. Thanks again for watching. Um, we'll crack on with some more beer mail reviews soon. And tomorrow I'm going out picking dandelions to do some dandelion wine. And that'll be all finished for Christmas. Right. Um, oh, yeah, do look out for my pineapple wine 
video coming up shortly as well. I uh, just need to edit all that together. And that's it. So, cheers for watching again, guys. And I'll see you in the next video. And happy Andrew Wednesday. Cheers.